Hi friends, my name is Arpita Karwa and in this video I am going to begin with my discussion on the unit ICT that is Information and Communication Technology. This unit is one of the most important unit of UGC NET Paper 1 and we are going to deal with all the subtopics of this unit in this series where I am covering every unit of UGC NET Paper 1 on every weekend. So let's begin with our discussion on ICT. If you are somebody who has ever gone through any guidebook of UGC NET Paper 1 and flipped through the unit of ICT, you must have come across all these terms like hardware, software, memory, computer, computer peripherals, network, internet. And after seeing the headings, you must be assuming that why is it called ICT? Why not just call this unit computers or at max IT because IT we all know deals with computer and its parts. So I am going to decode the word ICT for you because a lot of times they ask you this in the paper that what is a part of ICT and a lot of people get confused because they don't know what this term ICT means. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. Now as you can see from the term itself, it has got two components, IT that is Information Technology and CT that is Communication Technology. So IT, Information Technology refers to the use of technology for storing, processing, collecting data. So whenever you are using computer and you are dealing with its parts like hardware, software, internet, so all of that comes under IT. On the other hand, we have CT, communication technology, which refers to the use of technology for transmitting information, broadcasting media, audiovisual processing. So what we are doing, the information that we have collected, processed and stored in case of IT, we are now broadcasting that information, transmitting that information to the entire world with the use of communication technology. So in case of communication technology, we are dealing with wire or wireless networks. We are dealing with mobile phones, video conferencing and all this uh, stuff. So now when we combine these two definitions, what we get is the definition of ICT. So ICT refers to a combination of IT and CT where you are collecting, processing, storing data and also transmitting this uh, data or sharing this data across the globe by the use of networks, internet, telecommunication. So this is what we are going to study in this entire unit of ICT. So let us begin this unit by talking about the first important topic. What is a computer? Now you must be wondering, we are not sixth grade students, why is Arpita going to tell us the definition of a computer? We are not going to write this on the paper. It's a MCQ paper and they'll never ask the definition of a computer. They would because they have. Till now, several times in UGC net paper, they have given you a question framed in a way like what is the appropriate definition of a computer they'll give you four options and then you have to select the right one so this is the reason why it is important for you to know the exact definition of the computer so that you don't uh, mark the wrong answer by assuming that a computer only does this much task so you must be aware of all what a computer can do and that is the reason why I discussed in detail what is ICT because a lot of components of ICT also fits into the definition of computer just like in this question that I've displayed on the screen uh, you will find that they have actually taken the definition of ICT molded it to form this particular question so let us know what is the definition of a computer a computer is an electronic device as we all know it cannot function without electricity it's an electronic device that accepts raw data in form of input processes it and then show you the final output right so this is the task of a computer now this processing involves a set of instructions that is called program so if in case they ask you what is a program you must know that it is a set of instructions given to a computer so that it can process the raw data 
Now, most of us believe that computers can either be a PC or a laptop. But modern day computers can come in every kind of shape and size. You've seen those barcode scanners that Big Bazaar and other uh, grocery stores use. Those are also a part of computers. Then we have ATM machines. We have gaming consoles like PS3, PS4. We have got smart watches, smart phones. We have smart TVs nowadays. All these come under computers because what they are doing, they are actually taking input from us processing it and then showing us the output. So even though they don't look like a typical computer, they actually are a computer. So you must know what a computer is and what kind of computer systems are popular in today's society so that you get a kickstart into the unit. Now let us look at certain important characteristics of a computer because a lot of times you will find that they have asked you questions based on the characteristics. So make sure you don't skip this part. Now when it comes to characteristics of computer, the first one is of course speed. Computer can process millions of information in fraction of seconds. Then we have diligence, we have versatility, we have accuracy, reliability as the characteristics of computer. But the most interesting and important one is the power of remembering. A computer can store millions of files and can help us retrieve any information that we want in minutes. Another interesting thing is that computer doesn't have IQ and feeling of its own. So even though it seems like a very, very intelligent device, it is actually a dumbass device because it cannot work without a human being. A human has to feed instruction and only based on that instruction, a computer can function. So a computer, even if it seems like a very intelligent and fast device, can never fully replace a human being. So if you look at the characteristics of computer, you might find questions like these coming in the exam hall. Uh, in this kind of question, you have to be very, very sure about the characteristics because all four points seem like a characteristic. But if you look at the characteristics that I just explained in the lecture, you will find that I have not mentioned electronic device as a characteristic and therefore A is the wrong option. So you need to be very, very clear with the characteristics to get these questions right. We discuss all of these topics and subtopics in detail in my online course. The details of the same you can get from the number displayed there. You can give us a call or WhatsApp us. We would be happy to help you. Apart from that, you can also check out all the video courses of individual units of UGC Net Paper 1 available on my Android application that is Arpita Karva Learning App. Now that we have covered what is a computer and what are its characteristics, let us move on to the next topic. Let us go back to our definition of computer. When I was telling you the definition of computer, I told you about two important parts. It accepts the raw information in form of input and then it presents uh, before us the processed information in form of output. So input and output are these two components which we are going to discuss next. Input devices are devices that are used to feed information into the computer. For example, we use mouse, keyboard to feed information into the computer, right? So these are input devices. Then we have output devices, devices on which we actually find the processed data. Uh, on which the computer actually shows us the output. So if you look at printer or monitor, all these are output devices. But this seems like a sixth grade question. We all have studied what are input and output devices. We all work on computer systems, so we know all of that. But then do they even ask questions from this topic? Yes, they do. But they don't ask you basic questions because they know you are smart enough to answer them. So what they are going to ask you, they'll ask you some tricky ones. For example, they'll ask you how many keys are there in a keyboard. They might also ask you a question, what is the full form of DPI dots per unit, which is a term related to printers. 
सो मेक श्योर दैट यू स्टडी इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसिस इन डिटेल इट्स नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट टू जस्ट नो द नेम्स ऑफ द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसिस एंड दीज क्वेश्चन विच आर फ्लैश्ड ऑन स्क्रीन आर questions which have come in last 2 years in UGC net exam so make sure you work and find out the important details about the input and output devices we cover all these important information like ASCII and DPI and other terms related to computers in our online course so if you want to get animated video lectures for this unit you can go to our website arpitakarwa.com find out ugc net paper 2 courses and go to our website courses.arpitakarwa.com and find out paper 1 courses before i end this video i would also like to talk about another important sub point which you must cover in the unit ugc net paper 1 that is central processing unit now what is central processing unit heard of cpu that's the sulfur form of cpu central processing unit so if we go back to our definition of the computer you will see that we have already discussed two parts of the definition that computer takes the input and shows the output another process involved in a computer is the processing of the information processing of the data this is where cpu or central processing unit comes into the scene CPU is known as the brain of the computer this is where the processing happened so what you need to know here from net point of view here you need to know two components of CPU CU that is control unit and ALU that is arithmetic logical unit these are the two sections of the cpu which deals with different types of work i would like you to comment below if you know what are the functions involved with cu and what are the functions involved with alu and this is a homework for you because only by googling information by getting information from different sources by understanding it you will be able to brush up on your knowledge on this particular subject so make sure you do your research and put that in the comments below what is cu and what is alu so with that note i would like to take your leave it was really fun interacting with you guys again and uh, discussing these fun topics from the unit ict in front of you i would be coming up with my next video very soon on this particular topic where we are going to have a detailed discussion on memory of the computer on some numeric questions that come from this particular unit how to convert binary to decimal how to convert decimal to binary we are going to take care of all these in the next video so stay tuned subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share it with your friends so that's it from my side for this lecture i'll meet you very soon in my next video lecture till the time i meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com